NASA uh, is adamant that Artemis, this mission to the moon, will happen in February. This is already way behind schedule. Yeah. Talk to us about this milestone while they are confident. Stacking, it's called. Yeah, look, the, the stacking is a critical part because this rocket is multiple parts really put together. You have the rocket engine, um, which is the fuel that takes you up. And as you're seeing being lifted in position, you have the capsule, what's called the Orion capsule. And that's where the humans will go in. And all of these parts have been built separately. So to put them together, they've been tested individually, but you wanna make sure you know everything fits, everything works, everything's in the right way before well, launch. So it's together. So, so what, this could have been that they went, ah, oh, it's not quite fitting, we'll have to make the whole thing again? What, what happens if it didn't fit? Well, it's what we call an integration test. You want to make sure everything works seamlessly, that there's not a small leak, uh, that, you know, the seals and everything like that fit perfectly. And, and this has happened before, that some components haven't been flush or as perfect as they wanted to be. And it has required re-engineering or rebuilt, which has pushed the timeline back. And that's one of the reasons why this is delayed is some of the work into the rocket engine, they call it space launch system, has had some of those issues causing the delay for the launch. So the fact that it is all coming together is a big sign they don't have to do any more work towards it and that this idea of a February launch is probably really realistic, you know, modulo a few days with weather or things like that. All right, and just finally, there could be another space station going up there, but a private one, I guess this is just the next step of, uh, the, you know, private companies getting out there into space, Brad? It is. And look, this is quite interesting for two reasons. You know, we've talked a bit about how the International Space Station is getting old. Uh, the contract only is through 2024. Now, NASA said they're happy to pay their share till 2028, but the Russians haven't said that. Uh, so what's going to happen with the future of the International Space Station? And then you have the added issue. Private companies want in is, on this as well. So Blue Origin has partnered with Boeing and another company, Sierra Nevada, to say they're going to build their own space station uh, by the end of the decade. And it's not dramatically hard to think about you could do this. We've seen China assembling their space station as we speak. Uh, and so this would allow private companies to dictate the terms. So it could be for holiday. It could be private astronauts. It could be other countries who don't part in their, participate mm -hmm. in their National Space Station having a seat right. or, or contracts to NASA. So just looking at this, every time I see the space station, the real one, it's very cramped and cluttered and chaotic. This one looks beautiful. It's uh, smooth, sleek designs <laughs> and plenty of space. Is this like the off the plan before you buy the real apartment? Yeah, look, this is, uh, this is the high gloss image with the wide camera and the nice lighting. When you get in there, it won't look as sleek. But it will be newer, and that's going to have the benefit. The space station right. currently is 30-something years old, so already that's going to be an improvement. Yeah. Uh, if, if nothing else, what we've learnt is space travel, space time is not all that glamorous. Brad Tucker, thanks for your time. We'll talk again soon. Take care.